G'day, it's Peter Price here. I want to talk to you briefly about measuring rainfall. I don't know if that's something that you do. I do it just as a hobby. I'm interested to know how much rain we've had. I'm standing in a bit of our local bush. You can see it's fairly dry, even though the grass has got a bit of green to it. It's important for us to know how much rain we've got. So I'm, as I said, I'm a hobbyist, and I use a rain gauge like this. Now the interesting thing about the rain gauge mathematically is that it multiplies the amount of rain. I'll explain what I mean. So at the top there's a funnel like this. It's about 10 centimetres or 4 inches across and that obviously collects the rain through the opening. Below that is the big tube and then inside is another smaller tube. So the funnel sends the rain into the smaller tube which looks like this and if you can see the numbers on it not sure if you can see that on the video. It goes up to 25, and of course zero is at the bottom, and that is in millimetres. But of course the tube is a lot taller than that. In fact, it's 10 times the height. So where it says 25 at the top there, that's actually 25 centimetres from the bottom of the tube, and yet it's measured in millimetres. So the result of having the, t the funnel and the, the, then the smaller tube underneath is to multiply the height, if you like, or the depth of water by 10. So someone's had to do a fair bit of math in there to make sure that the diameters were just right so the area of the rain being collected was 10 times the size of the small tube. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll talk to you next time.